Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Carolina Mall. Here we're going to get a little sneak preview of what uh, Santa Claus might be visiting here. Got a lot of information about a lot of different things. And uh, so grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address into the show. Well, we are at Carolina Mall. We're uh, right here, all the decorations set up for Christmas. And a very important visitor is going to be arriving here. Where is St. Nick at? Very soon. Um, Santa Claus is going to arrive at Carolina Mall um, on a City of Concord fire truck at Saturday, November 20th at 11 a.m. So all the kids, be sure to come out and see Santa's arrival. Um, and then starting this Saturday, Santa is going to be available to meet with children from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. right here in the Center Four area each day, except for Sundays. He'll be here until 6 p.m. Now the Carolina Mall also will host a very special breakfast with Santa on December 11th from 8 until 10 p.m. In, or 10 a.m. in the food court. Children 12 and younger can enjoy a tasty breakfast while visiting with the big guy himself and the event is free for children but reservations are required so parents please RSVP by contacting the mall office at 704-786-1185 extension 52 now through December the 10th and while you're at Carolina Mall be sure to look up to oh, yes. notice the beautiful photography that's lining the upper walls, larger than life wall murals with historic scenes of Concord and the surrounding area are prominently displayed throughout the mall concourses. These vintage photographs depicting individuals and scenes from an era since past were courteously provided by several local organizations and businesses and they depict scenes from the former Cannon Mills, former Barris Memorial Hospital, historic shots from downtown Concord and Kannapolis and many other nostalgic images. Now Carolina Mall is located at 1480 Highway 29 in Concord. For more information just call the mall office at 704-786-1185. Yes and I was going to sit in Santa's throne but then people might start flocking thinking I was Santa That's Claus. Right. There you go, if you had a red seat they definitely would come. <laughs> that would be it. Now if you're thinking of adding a puppy to your family over the holidays well great way to kind of check out all kinds of different breeds would go to the Greater Monroe Kennel Club and the All Breed Show and that's going to be at the Cabarrus Arena on November 17th through the 21st. Now the show runs from 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. each day but sometimes you know with the competitions they vary the times may also vary also. Now the event includes huge competitions and categories like obedience, rally, and everybody's favorite, agility. Mm -hmm. Now those things are really cool mm -hmm. watching it those is. dogs do all that. Plus, there are many specialty classes um, competing on Thursday, November the 17th, and a number of these competitors in this event will actually compete in New York City mm. in the uh, Westminster Dog Show. Wow. Yeah, that's a big time deal. Spectators are admitted at no cost. Um, dogs, though, are not permitted on the property unless they're registered for the competition. Now, parking is 3 to $5 at the entrance. For more information, just visit cabarrasarena.com. Well, if you um, are thinking about composting and would like to do more to reduce the waste at your home um, and also help the environment, um, composting, some people think, yeah, it's, kind of, it's complicated, it's confusing, it doesn't have to be. There's a free class that is available through Cabarrus County Recycling to um, give you all the easy steps to get started with the process. Um, this free class will give you tools and tips um, and it also will provide you with a, a compost bin, a wire bin, mm -hmm. um, to get started in your own backyard. Now, Cabarrus County Waste Reduction is offering the compost class on Saturday, November 20th from 2 until 4 p.m. The class is designed to help county res residents manage yard waste and kitchen scraps while saving time and energy and to teach participants how to keep odors and animals at bay in order to build healthier soil um, in your yards and garden. Great time to start building your soil, um, get it ready for um, the planting season coming up later. All participants will take home a wire compost bin and a composting guide and will have the chance to win some door prizes. Classes are free but spaces are limited and reservations are required. You can make your reservation by calling Pete Pastors, the county recycling coordinator at 704-920-3280 or email papastors at Cabarrus County. .us. And the class is really good because mm. there's a lot of things that you can compost that I didn't realize you could, and these classes will tell you all, all right. about that. Now, if uh, you can, uh, anybody can kind of, I don't know, help you to learn a delicious holiday meal, 
without suffering those calorie overloads. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. Mm. Well, i got to call Gina Godfrey of Bocha Felici Catering, and that's on November the 18th at 5 p.m. Now, Gina's going to be at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library demonstrating different tips and techniques for healthier ways to prepare dishes for that holiday season. Now, Gina's programs are known to be delicious, informative, and high energy. Mm. I mean, she is, she she is definitely like, high she energy. She does a great job, and the food is wonderful. Right, and participants can learn a great deal and come away inspired to try something brand mm. new. Now, and if that's not enough, you get to eat the results, so that's pretty <laughs> cool. So, there are samples served. So bring your appetite and join us. And for more information, just stop by the Kannapolis Library or call 704-920-1180 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. So the holiday season is quickly approaching, which is evident here at Carolina Mall and a lot of other shopping centers <laughs> around the area gearing up for the holidays. Um, downtown Concord is no different. Um, now through December 23rd, on Thursdays, a lot of the local markets in downtown Concord are going to be open late until 8. Okay. Uh, again, that's um, Thursdays now through December 20th, um, late till 8 in downtown Concord, so you can... Uh, Take your shopping list and uh, check off that list of all the downtown merchants. Lots and lots of really unique shops and restaurants and galleries there. So it is a great place to kind of browse around and uh, look for maybe a gift for someone that's a little hard to buy for on your you Christmas go. list this year. Now, the Concord Annual Christmas Tree Lighting and Fireworks, that's going to take place on Friday, November the 19th, with children's activities, and there's a trolley, and there's carriage rides, mm -hmm. starting all at 5.30, family entertainment at 6 p.m., followed by the tree lighting at 6.30 p.m., and fireworks at 7. Now, the events will take place on Market and Cabarrus Avenue West, across from the parking deck. More information on the Concord holiday activities can be found online at ci.concord.nc.us. Or just pick up that telephone and call 704-920-5215. And that is a great event for the kids. Um, oh. we've, we've gone out before, lots of fun for the kids. But if you want to make a whole family affair out of it, um, you also can go one block over and experience the Art Walk. Um, also yeah. in downtown Concord on the same night. Um, that's going to be held November 19th from 6 until 9 p.m. And that's in conjunction with the tree lighting. You can come down downtown, explore the art in all the downtown storefronts, and stop by the galleries uh, to see the Cabarrus Art Council's current shows, black, white, and easily red, as well as the shop Seagrove with lots of the beautiful pottery oh, from yes, the Seagrove area. Maps showing each location are currently available for download. And Literally, um, so many merchants and storefronts um, filled with artwork. It's oh, really a fun really event. Cool. Um, also, you can stay late um, for a 9 p.m. viewing of the film Tearing Down the Tent. This is with producer-director Michael Knox, and that's going to be at the Davis Theater. And that's located at 65 Union Street in the historic courthouse in Concord, right upstairs there, uh, right above the art gallery. For more information on the film, just call the Arts Council at 704-920-2753 for more information about the Art Walk, the Cabarrus County, the Cabarrus Arts Council Galleries, or other Art Council Gallery activities. Just call 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. Now, the time-honored tradition of the Concord Christmas Parade, well, that's going to take place on Saturday, November the 20th. I think uh, Santa Claus you know, is going to come in here and then come yes. over there and be everywhere. Now, that starts again on Saturday, November the 20th at 2.30 p.m. The parade course uh, winds through Church Street, ends up on Union Street. For more information on the parade, call 704-932-3808 or visit CabarrusEvents.org. And I'll, as always, we'll be out there having a good Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And that is kind of the unofficial start of Christmas right. here in Cabarrus County. So it's going to be tons of fun. Um, now, the Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to hold special hours on Saturday, November 20th. Um, for the parade. Um, they will be open from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. They're closing a little bit early on Saturday to accommodate the Concord Christmas Parade, which will be winding down Union Street. Now, Annabelle, a certified therapy dog, is part of Pause for Reading program that's at the Harrisburg Library. This program allows children to read aloud to a therapy dog. It's a pretty interesting concept. The four-legged friends make perfect reading pals because they are non-threatening and non-judgmental. 
They don't have a lot to say I either. Love that. Uh, which encourages children to take There's risks. Lots of love. Yes, that is it is. Great. They kind of look at you with those big puppy dog <laughs> eyes, you know. And uh, they love the attention too. So um, with Annabella, children feel comfortable and confident, and they also have a good time. Now, readers ages five and up are invited to come practice reading to Annabelle and her handler, Mary Lou. And Annabelle will be available on Thursday, November the 18th from 3 to 4 p.m. For more information, just call or visit the Harrisburg Library at 704-920-2080. Now, you know, November brings the cool, crisp air, um, the clanging of the sores, and the woodsy smell of turkey legs coming from the Carolina Renaissance Festival. And that's going <laughs> to so, be closing up soon. where you're going with but, that. <laughs> You can, uh, lots of folks have been visiting the Renaissance Festival over the last couple weeks. Uh, I, I think the um, final weekend's coming up. Right. But you can uh, join authors Joyce and Jim Levine at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library on November 18th at 5.30 p.m. They are armed to bring us into this enticing world of swordsmen, ghosts, and mayhem with a discussion of the book Deadly Daggers. It's the latest title in their Renaissance Fair Mysteries. Now for a chance to win a copy of the book, uh, check out their website at JoyceAndJimLevine.com. For more information about uh, the author discussion, just call the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library at 704-920-280 or log on to CabarrusCounty.us slash library. Now there's been a very serious problem facing a lot of our neighbors in and uh, because of the effect of the economy on home ownership. Now, a foreclosure prevention forum is going to take place on Saturday, November the 20th, and that's from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m., and that's going to be at Bethel Baptist Church in Kannapolis. This forum is hosted by Prosperity Unlimited, Inc. That's a nonprofit HUD-approved housing agency, and that's in partnership with the city of Kannapolis. Now, if you're behind on your mortgage or concerned about getting behind, please register to attend and receive information on services and programs that could assist you. There's no charge for uh, attendance or for the services. To reserve a place at the forum, just to call 704-933-7405. Well, if you are really ready to get some compliments on your Thanksgiving dish at your family's uh, upcoming Thanksgiving meal, you want to make sure that your veggies are grown locally and picked fresh because they do provide the greatest right. flavor. Um, now, the Piedmont Farmer's Market is going to help you out with that. They've got a special Thanksgiving market on Monday, November 22nd from 3 p.m. until dark in Harrisburg at 6960 Robinson Church Road. For more information, Information on this Thanksgiving market, just visit PiedmontFarmersMarket.com or call 704-706-8062. And of course, as always, the uh, Piedmont Farmers Market um, on Orphanage Road is open every Saturday um, year-round now, so that also is a wonderful resource to pick up those fresh veggies. All right. Now, uh, there's a special program that's going to come up at North Cabarrus Park, mm -hmm. but I had to talk to our scriptwriter, Kasha, because it's about turkeys. And so she had to tell me how turkeys talk. So she stood there and went, you go, gobble, 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 turkey, turkey, purr. <laughs> I, now, I just trust that she knows what she's talking about. But anyway. I think she's a turkey expert. Oh, a turkey expert. Okay, well, now you can give it a try. <clears throat> now, that's turkey talk, folks. Okay, so join us for a class where you'll learn to talk like a turkey and use turkey calls on Saturday, November 27th from 10 until 11 a.m. at North Cabarrus Park. Now, the class is open for ages 6 and up and is free of charge. Pre-registration is required by Wednesday, November the 24th. To register online, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner, type in the word turkey in the class search box, or for details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Or hey, if you run into a sump, just give us a call. We'll get you in touch with Kasha. All right. <laughs> We can join park rangers on Saturday, November 27th for a guided nature walk through the trails at North Cabarrus Park. Um, beautiful time of year to walk the trails there. Um, you'll learn all about some of the um, 
nature there. They have the interpretive nature trail through the park. Just beautiful, beautiful area. Um, come out at 10 a.m. Meet in front of the office slash restroom building. Registration is not required. It's open to everyone. For details, just log on to kibarriscounty.us slash parks. Now, if you've never seen the Holiday Follies, you're really missing something. Mm, Last year show. I was there. It was, well, you were there, too. You it saw was. all that. It, it was, was a, great show. a whole lot of fun. This Holiday Show is coming up on Tuesday, November the 30th at 7 p.m. And that's at Mount Pleasant High School at 700 Walker Road in Mount Pleasant. Now, you come prepared to kind of laugh and sing. I mean, it's just, a, it's, it's sing along with a mm -hmm. lot. We had a good time doing that. There's also some of the area's best talent. And many of uh, the uh, 2010 Cabarrus Senior Games Follies participant, some went to state and all that, mm -hmm. uh, are going to be performing. So all proceeds benefit the Senior Center's Trust Fund. And that's established to kind of expand the space and increase programs for all our senior adults here in Cabarrus County. Now, advance tickets are $5 for adults, $3 for children 12 and younger. Admission at the door is not guaranteed, so purchase your tickets early um, in person at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord at 331 Corbin Avenue or the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. That's 8615 Park Drive, or you can just phone by calling 704-920-3484 or just visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Well, you know, one of the best ways to help a child get um, prepared for their first years of school and to be successful in school is through early reading to right. children. And one of the best ways you can do that is through the Cabarrus County Public Library System with their story times. A lot of story times um, coming up that you will want to check out. The Mount Pleasant branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to offer a story time for two to three, year, two to five year olds on November 17th at 10.30 a.m. And then the Concord Branch Library story time is also on November 17th at 4 p.m. And that story time is open to children ages 3 to 8 years old. Now, the Harrisburg Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to host their story time for children 4 and younger on November 18th at 10.30 a.m. And for this preschool story time. And then also, families are welcome to attend a family story time where there are songs, stories, family plays, puppets, and more. That's going to be at the Canapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library on November 18th at 10 a.m. Now, in addition to that, the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library also is hosting a writing club. That's going to be on November 18th at 4.45 p.m. That's for students eight years old and older um, that would like to learn how to take vivid pictures of their imagination and turn them into written words. So that would be an awesome activity there, wow. um, which is really an important skill as you get um, into the grades at school as well. So yeah, great. Take pictures of their imagination. That's right. And write them down. Wow. <laughs> For more that's that's not literal, David. Oh, oh for, okay. I says this. this is a writing workshop. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. A writing workshop for uh, children. For more information on Cabarrus County Public Library's events, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library or stop by your local library branch. I was going to do that, but that'd be way too scary, I think. Okay. <laughs> now, at a time when so much changes, it's comforting to see businesses like the Cabarrus Creamery uh, continue for generations. Now, the Concord Museum has two special exhibits on display that take a look back on uh, two cornerstone programs in our area. One is the Cabarrus Creamery History that features rare milk bottles, dairy packages, uh, vintage creamery utensils, and even ads, which is kind of cool. That's always kind of fun to watch at all older that. ads. Yeah. yeah. Now, the second exhibit is the Cabarrus County Boy Scouts history, and that showcases scouting equipment, merit badges, s scout uniforms, and even photos. So remember to act quickly because these exhibits come to an end on Wednesday, November the 24th. Concord Museum is located at 11 Union Street, Suite 104 in Concord, and is open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. Th until 3 p.m. Admission is free to schedule a group tour or for more information, just call 704-782. Three six eight eight. David, do you have any experience whittling sticks, or have you watched anyone do? No, that? No, actually, I have yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like when I was 
my son and Boy Scouts uh-huh. doing that stuff. Yep. Okay. Well, if you've ever watched someone whittling sticks and are interested in learning the methods and techniques behind it, now's your chance to learn these skills behind whittling with the class on the art of wood carving. You can create your own new favorite holiday ornament through this class as well. The class is going to take that. place. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never. Because I never took the class. Oh, That's well, right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Create, create a wood carving for a Christmas ornament. That would be great. The class will take place on Saturday, November, or excuse me, Saturday, December the 4th from 11 a.m. until noon. Um, that's going to be at Frank List Park. The class is open to ages 5 and older, and the cost is $5 per person. Pre-registration is required by December 1st. For more information or to register online, visit CamarasCounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word carving in the class search box. For more details, just log on to CamarasCounty.us slash parks. Now, we've had a, a lot of information mm-hmm. on today's show, so if you missed the contact information or a phone number or web address, then just go to our web address, which is CamarasCounty.us. You can see a little search box up there, the A through Z category. You can pop in that word and pretty much find it. If you have any trouble, though, just send us an email at channel22 at cabarrascounty.us. And, of course, one of the best ways to um, get all the information we talk about on Cabarrus this week, as well as a lot of other helpful tidbits of information, is to sign up for our email newsletter. You also can do that online, cabarrascounty.us. Click the Join Our Mailing List link, top left of any page, type in your email address, and you'll be set to go. Each week, you will get an email with a listing of all the events going on in Cabarrus right. County. That way, if you can kind of plan your week ahead, um, if you get that and enjoy it, please forward on to a friend and encourage them to sign up as well. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, then you can watch us on demand. Uh, all you got to do is go to a web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. We're right there on the video screen, right on the home page, the big video screen. Right below it is Channel 22 icon or a YouTube icon. Click on either one of those and you can see all the different programs we do and you can watch it on demand. Great. And it has been a lot of fun out here at the Carolina Ball um, oh. getting geared up for the holidays. Santa is coming on Saturday. It's going to be great fun. So bring the kids out. Um, Oh, and enjoy the photos. The photos, photos are amazing. Are, they are. If, if you have not come by just to see the photos, just walk walk through the mall like this <laughs> because it is just it's, it's beautiful. I love it. And uh, if I get a chance, I'm gonna go sit on Santa's throne. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Until next week, you have a great one.